Hello friends, thank you again for joining me today. We're back to playing Sonic 2. Okay. So let's see if we can actually uh, defeat Eggman this time. I, uh... <clears throat> Ow. Well, I thought that essentially was going to be the right way how to beat him. Well, I'm just going to use... Oh, no. No, give me that one ring. Ah! Uh. Got one balloon. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> that's a great way to start things with victory. All right. Awesome. Uh, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, I hope everything that you've ever set to accomplish today that you have. And, um, if not, just be patient with yourself. You'll get there, buddy. In time. So, uh... This stage, if I can actually manage to get through it, um, is kind of like a, a bit of a contradiction because it's got like this, it's got like this nice kind of peaceful music, but it's, uh, it's essentially assaulting you with every potential thing that's in there. I just want to comment on like these flying turtle guys because see how he's shooting the the orbs at me and stuff well I guess he's only got the one orb I wonder uh wonder if he's if he's sad and lonely after essentially I've destroyed the pilot he's just like oh old Bill's gone I don't know uh, farewell Bill Like how these jets are kind of like designed like pterodactyls. You never see these enemies again uh, in uh, in any of the other games, which makes me think one of two things. One, because of the fact that Eggman sees them as a failure, he never used their design again. Um, or B, he just like completely was, that's probably what it is. He probably just was like, this design is a complete failure. I will never use these designs again. What motivated Eggman to uh, start like making things to destroy Sonic? I know he's like he's supposed to represent nature and stuff like that and mankind's uh I guess industrial takeover but like where are all the other human beings in this world what happened to them maybe we got the story wrong maybe Eggman is out for revenge because Sonic and everybody essentially destroyed all the human beings we don't know we don't know because like this this is before, this is when video game plots and stories were uh, far more simple. What? Now I'm just going to take that shortcut up there and lose that shield and save some time. But yeah, I, uh, uh, I, uh, <clears throat> I spent probably, uh, I don't know, maybe a half hour. Or a little less than a half hour, I think. Um, playing this stage and beating uh, and beating Eggman, and I found out that uh, there was ab absolutely no footage of any of it, <laughs> and I was just like, I was like, ah, I just did all that stuff. Can I not get down there? I'm, apparently, I'm just gonna go super fast. Wee! I like the sped up version. 
Whee! <laughs> Super fast invincibility. I think about I think about stuff too much when it comes to a lot of these games. Like the, the things that are in them and, and stuff like that. Like, what is it about the shoes besides the fact that they're, it's a pair of sneakers in a box? What What is uh, about the super sneakers that makes them fast? Like, why, why does it make Sonic fast? I don't know. I should just probably turn my brain off and just enjoy, just enjoy the game. As, uh, I didn't think about this type of stuff when I was a kid, but as as uh, as I've gotten older, it's like it's like the type of stuff that my brain defaults to now. Log like pure logic based stuff. Okay, I'm uh, I hate this section so much. Alrighty. I had a bit of practice there. <laughs> Straight into death. Okay. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna do that. I'm gonna take that shortcut. I am not going to uh bother with that entire mess. Now hopefully I can actually uh, beat Eggman. I know a lot of people are probably like, it's Robot Dick. I got into the habit of calling him Eggman when uh, it, it, when Sonic Adventure came out and then that's just kind of what happened. And his name was always Eggman, honestly, in, in, in Japan. He was kind of based off of uh, Teddy Roosevelt, I believe. Like his design. Can I get that ring box? I am on a mission now. Apparently not. Wait, maybe I can. Oh, I can. Cool. Now I'm gonna go like, see what's oh, all the way over here. I'm just very curious. What's down here? Is death down here? I'm, it looks like death is down here. Uh, no, I got an extra life. Am I just... Is there just nothing but a bottomless pit down there? That is such... Are you kidding me? Oh! What? What? <laughs> What was that? <laughs> he, was, he was flying away. Oh man, okay. And he was like, he was like grabbing at the air. Alright. Okay, here we go. All right, this thing, which makes a, which makes an, a, a reappearance in, uh, if you remember, watching uh, Sonic Three and Knuckles. Ow! Ow! Can I at least hang on to one ring? Oh, I'm gonna lose my one ring. I. I should have moved. And I didn't move. Ugh. It's, it's a good thing that, uh... It's a good thing that it doesn't go all the way to the end, end of the screen. Can you... Like... Die already? <laughs> Yes! Yes! We beat it! Yes! Yep, there's a there's a life there. Okay. So uh I am 
I'm gonna go into outer space. Watch this. This is pretty cool. I always thought these cutscenes were really awesome. Because, like, they visually tell a really cool story that's happening. Like, he's trying to chase after him and stuff. Right there. And then Sonic has to grab on. Into, on the ship. And he has to hang on for dear life as he leaves the atmosphere. Like, you'll see it in a second here. Like, he leaves the atmosphere and goes into space. That's pretty crazy. Although, I mean, physically that could never happen. S Sonic would obviously burn up in the atmosphere. Okay. Okay. So here we go. Now, I'm, I don't think I've ever beaten this with no rings before. So this will be the first time. <laughs> That's a great start. Okay. This, uh, this is the Death Egg Mark 1. The obvious reason why I have not beaten it is because I don't have rings. Okay. And I think he... I think he jumps after this one. Yeah, he jumps. Okay. Keep trying. Does Sonic get, have fewer lives than Mario? When starting off, I wonder. That's something I'll uh, have to look into. <laughs> I don't really get mad. I just, I just kind of like, why? I don't get mad when I lose at, at video games or anything like that. I don't, unless, like, there's a, a really justifiable reason to be angry. Like, I, I spent an incredible amount of time. Ooh. Yeah! Okay. I'm, I'll, I'll just, uh, I'll just go. So, I can't t This is, like, legendary. Because, uh, Eggman is faster than Sonic. Okay. Oh, okay. So the trick to beating him is you have to make sure that his hands are not out. And you have to be far away from him. You have to be far away from him. Uh when his when he uh, shoots his hands out or his claws or whatever okay it's it's not cheating it's in the game eventually I'll be able to beat him I'm just becoming impatient that's what the problem is Notice that he had like kind of like lights on. Well, how many times can I essentially die trying to beat this? You see why I've never beat this legitimately. Playing Sonic the Hedgehog with no rings is hard mode. Like, super hard mode.
Imagine playing the entire game with no rings. That would be a challenge. Like, no rings at all. You'd have to solely rely on shields and stuff like that. Okay, I, I don't know. Okay. I'm going to beat him. Like, I am going to beat this game today. I am... If I have to do two episodes today, I'm going to beat this. <laughs> Try this again. I have to be right under him. I think there, there's... It's so cool, like, how everything's moving in the background. Like, how the planet is and everything like that. I have no idea how many hits I have to do with, with this. Oh, I forgot. Run away. He flies away. And then he walks. I'm wondering if you can... You can hit him anywhere else. Like, there's no other place where you can hit him. I wonder how many hits I have to have to like actually get him to. It's interesting how this this final boss battle is uh, has different music than um, it has different music than uh, any of the other boss battles does. I think I have to literally wait for him to be like somewhat in the air to attack him. Yeah. I'm gonna beat this, like... I'm gonna beat this game today. I'm gonna beat this in this final stage. I can't tell you how many times that it's... It's, like, essentially tried to, uh, er <laughs> This game has essentially beaten me as a child. And I couldn't... I couldn't beat it any other way. Those red things look like eyes right here in the background. I feel like some... I mean, this is pretty epic music. I thought he was uh, switching his, uh, his pattern up on me. I was like... I was like, oh no. Sorry, I'm I'm not commentating or having I think yeah that's the safest bet is like when he's when he's in the air. 
hit him twice. I don't know how many times I have to hit him. Oh, come on! Now I'm starting to get frustrated. Alright, we're back. So, I, uh, I took a bit of a break. I, uh, I ate some food. I, uh, I took a I took a walk. I smelled flowers. No, um I did get some food though. I saw Sega sharing the fact that the that the PC version is going to be delayed until the 29th. I'm not happy about that because I was actually going to use the PC version for my let's play and like experience and stuff like that. So now I really have to get the switch version working. Yeah, I'm a uh, I am not happy about that, but I will get the switch version up and running. Um for hello high water. You know, it's funny cuz like you get you get all tense and everything fighting this guy and he takes so much of like your mental mental concentration and energy and stuff that by the time you get to like the giant version of Eggman uh you're you're slightly exhausted now I got to get back into like the comfort and the groove and everything like that when it comes to fighting this guy. I had friends that were like super skilled at beating him. I wonder how much of their life they dedicated. Oh, why? Why? I am just really trying to concentrate on this. Like I'm trying to find where his hitbox is. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Can I do that though? Maybe that's what I have to do. Maybe that's what I've had to do this entire time. Well, that didn't work. At all. It'll be a long video, folks. Long video. I've kind of stopped having a whole lot of fun with it. Because it's just, it's just challenging now. Like it's just pure challenge. There's not much fun in it. Especially when you like you do this a crazy amount of times. I've lost track of how many times I've reset and tried to essentially beat him. My heart's starting to beat faster. <sighs> but anyway, the uh the Sonic Mania Collector's Edition looks amazing. I'm so thankfully I actually ordered it. Come on! I think it's just because I haven't had a lot of... Oh, oh, come on! Away! I am going to beat this guy no matter what. Yes! Eat it! Yes! Ugh. Oh! Oh, finally, after so long, I finally beat it. Oh, man. I've been at this for a long time. And even in, ever and ever since I was a child, like, this is, uh, this is amazing. This is great. Ah, oh, I finally beat it. Yes, I finally beat Sonic 2 legitimately without codes or anything like that like I had to do when I was much younger. Which I'll probably I'll probably just do that anyway. I'll probably just do like a bonus video or where I'm just putting codes in and it's just like, oh yeah. I just tear through him. Cause I've always felt really good. Get revenge. 
So here's the the beautiful ending to uh, Sonic 2. Yeah! I'm, uh, I'm just going to talk a bit. So, uh, the next game, I've, I I don't know if I'm going to, con- I'll probably continue the Sonic Momentum. Um, I was thinking about doing Sonic CD um, all the way until Sonic Mania comes out. And I'm going to have to find out how to uh, set up the Nintendo Switch. Like, actually, I probably should be doing that uh, after this. And um, get the Nintendo Switch set up and find out how it is that I can start playing games and stuff like that on it. Because I will not be able to play on my PC. And I thought I was going to be able to play on my PC, but that's not the case. So, um, I'm going to have to, I'm, I have to, like, I've, I've been trying to essentially set it up and stuff and it's just not working. I don't know what's going on. Um, I don't know if, uh, essentially it's just some component I'm missing, but my input is not being received for some reason. But I'll keep looking at more tutorials and see if I can figure it out. Okay, yeah. Uh, So thank you for sitting down with me today and experiencing this entire journey. I was so determined to beat Sonic 2 today. Like I was like, "This, this is the day. This is the day. Uh... So, I really appreciate uh, your patience and stuff like that. Uh, I can't wait to edit this because it's it's gonna be it's gonna be crazy to edit like all this together to where it looks like it's coherent and works and stuff. So, um, yeah, it's uh, it's it's gonna be fun and. Uh, But yeah, I don't, I don't, I just wanted to say, like, to everybody out there who is watching still and everything like that, I really appreciate each and every one of you. I want you to know that. But uh, I really uh, appreciate uh, everything, like your, your support. I appreciate your viewership. I appreciate the moments that you share with me very much. Um, and, uh, there's, there's going to be more stuff to come. Uh, like I said, I, I want to maybe do, um, some like live, live drawings. Um, I'll probably have actual subjects and stuff. That way I'm just not like doodling and stuff. I'll actually be drawing potentially. Um, maybe some making music that could also be something in the future too. Uh, Because I love to do both of those things as well as play video games and edit stuff together to make it funny or whatever. But uh, so thank you for uh, for watching and for supporting my little channel and uh, and subscribing and, and sharing too. If you could share some stuff like if you can share my videos uh, with friends or whatever that helps too. Like it helps a lot. Like you wouldn't think that doing something like that could help on such a tremendous level, but it has like such a ripple effect, like sharing one video. If if somebody likes it and then they share it and then they share it and it has like this, this huge ripple effect. So like when people say, uh, please like, share, comment, subscribe, all that stuff, it's for them to essentially kind of extend their reach. I know it's kind of like the YouTube equivalent of being a salesperson knocking on your door when it comes to saying share and subscribe and everything like that. But I mean, like if you really want to genuinely support my little channel, like those types of things really help. Um, uh, and it, it's also more motivation and more encouragement for me to keep keep going. Like, you know, keep trying and keep going and stuff like that. 
um, for you, like bringing you something awesome and, you know, maybe a, a little a little light to a whatever dark situation you're experiencing. So, but oh, it's very long winded, but thank you so much. Thank you. Each and every one of you. Um, all right. That's going to be it for this. You guys take care. Stay tuned and have a great rest of your day. Thank you.